scary experiments. I could get too spooky though on this Halloween. Today is the last day for spooky science at the Imagination Station downtown Toledo. And we've got Joe Brinkman here. He is with uh, his creepy crystal cauldron. Yes. Yeah, not awesome, Joe. This is by far one of the best experiments we have in spooky science. It's called dry ice. You ever played with dry ice before? Ever heard of it? I, I know it's very cold. It is very cold. It's negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that's why we have our goggles on. We're never going to touch it with our hands. That's the most important part. Now it's so cold right now. Uh, it's 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 releasing a, a gas in yes, the form. Yes, I'm of... glad you pointed that out. Yes. What it's doing? It's called subliming. Okay, sublimation. It's going straight from the solid phase to the gas phase. That's that kind of fog effect you get there. That's how cold it is. So we can actually speed this process up and do some really exciting things with it. So go ahead and grab those tongs right there and pick up just any chunk you see there that you can. Excellent. Go ahead and drop it inside one of those cylinders there. This one? Yes. Now it's that hot water there that's inside that cylinder is speeding up the sublimation mm -hmm. process, which is giving off that fog effect there. Kind of like that creepy little witch's brew, crystal cauldron thing you guys were talking uh, or about. Or a there. mad scientist. Mad scientist, yes, yes. Does my hair look okay? Good. It looks great. Looks Excellent. like you stuck your finger in a, in a socket. <laughs> now, in addition to increasing that sublimation, giving out a lot of fog, it also gives off something called carbonic, carbonic acid. Excuse mm -hmm. me. So if you want to grab just another piece sure. and put it in here, that black liquid there is, a, is called a universal indicator. So it's going to indicate whether or not there's an acid inside. So just drop it in. Now, right now, it's this bluish color, but as we watch, it turns gradually to that yellow, that red color. It's detecting an acid. So it gives off that carbonic acid. In addition, kind of adds to that mad scientist vibe right. there. It so, sure does. It does. Now, dry ice is very good at rapidly cooling things down, okay? Now, what I want you to do is take these metal tongs and just touch it to a block here. Can you kind of hear that? It's a little bit... I heard it before. It was like a... A high-pitched whale? Well. Yes. It was like a, a witch sound. What it, yeah, exactly, a witch sound. What it's doing is it's trying to cool down those tongs. So you can take those off for me. So what we have here is a very warm quarter. So I'm going to take this quarter and I'm going to shove it... You just pull that out of your pocket. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a magician, too. Now, if we can get it to work just a little bit there... Can you kind of see how it's oh, shivering wow. back and forth? It's getting rapidly cooled down, and it's kind of releasing that gas there. So let's try another warm quarter here. See if we can get to do it even better. Oop, if I don't drop it on that tray there, don't worry, I've got a third one. So it's rapidly cooling down that quarter, and it's kind of giving off that kind of high-pitched wail there. So, now, we mentioned the crystal cauldron before, right? So what we have here is what I like to call our boo bubbles. So we've got this giant cauldron with a very large beaker of hot water in here, okay? Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a giant chunk. This one looks pretty good here. And we're gonna go ahead and put it inside. And it's gonna give off a whole lot of that gas yes, it right is. away. Now what we can do is take some soapy water, kinda get a soapy right around the edge here, and make a giant bubble filled with that fog, okay? So Ooh. it takes a, little, a couple tries here, but if we can get it to work, Oh, Joe, almost. I think I know where you're going with this because you said that as uh, you put that uh, dry ice in that liquid, it's releasing something. Quite correct? a lot of gas, correct. So, right. as you can see, it's kind of filling up into a giant bubble here. So we're going to let it build up as much as we can before we pop it, all right? So this is called our boo bubbles. Let me make sure my hands are nice and dry so I can pop this. Actually, go ahead, Chris. Why don't you pop it? Just go, ahead, want, just all right. go ahead and poke it. Excellent. So carbon dioxide, the gas that's filling up there, is a lot heavier than air, so it's going to flow downwards. So some pretty awesome little Halloween decorations that we've got here today. Love the hair, my friends. Thank you. Uh, you guys are always busy, of course, at the Imagination Station. Talk about some of the things you have uh, coming up. Spooky Science, as we mentioned, coming to an yes, end. Yes, it is the last day for Spooky Science, but we also have Animal Grossology coming on Saturday from 12 to 4. So our friends from the zoo will be coming down there to help us out, show us some cool, gross things. And Grossology is still here until January, so if you haven't checked it out yet, I'd highly advise it. It's very you cool. You kind of have me in the mood now for some Halloween stuff. Joe, thank you so much for stopping by no and hanging out with us on this Halloween morning. Coming up on the Glass City.